okay so we know that vendors send us invoices and why do they do that basically invoice is a document asking you to pay the money you owe money to the vendors because you must have purchased some goods or services from this vendor and vendor is asking you to pay okay so uh, that's what the invoice is so when you enter an invoice in the system this accounting gets created okay automatically by account payable module and eventually this is sent over to journal ledger and look at the accounting so what happens is some expense account that you enter while you're entering an invoice you tell the system this invoice is about we purchased let's say a laptop or we purchased uh, you know some kind of uh, office supplies or we purchased some kind of service you know you tell the system what what did you purchase basically you also enter the journal ledger account representing whatever you have purchased okay and that is referred to as an expense account you also purchase assets uh, from accounts payable which eventually flow over to oracle assets module so it's the, the entry remains the same so when i say expense here this means whatever you have purchased mostly you purchase expense items but this could also be an asset item okay so whatever you have purchased is debited okay so either expense or asset when you debit either expense or asset it is increased in value and that makes sense if you're purchasing something it basically uh, if, if it's an asset you're basically owning the asset and uh, the, the total uh, number of uh, like so total of the assets in dollar terms is basically increasing as far as you're concerned now even if you have purchased some kind of an expense item that expense is increasing in value okay so this expense account is always debited when you uh, enter an invoice and on the credit side because each journal has to has uh, has to have a debit and credit at least one because all the debits must be equal to all the credits w uh, within a journal and that's only possible if you have at least one debit and at least one credit line now on the credit side what's happening is you're in increasing your accounts payable uh, which is basically your liability accounts payable is an account basically used to represent your trade liabilities if you purchase something on loan if you're borrowing uh, basically you promise uh, the other party that you pay later this is how the business to business transactions happen you purchase the item first and then you pay later it's not like how you go to a retail store and purchase a, purchase a laptop it doesn't happen that way in the business okay so Accounts payable is credited. Accounts payable is an account which is defined at the time you are doing the setup of accounts payable. Okay, that we're going to be doing pretty soon, uh, or you can define them also at the at the vendor level. But you really don't enter your accounts payable account wh when you're entering the invoices. You only enter the expense accounts because uh, this is derived from your setup accounts payable account. Now. <coughs> So what happens after you enter an invoice? You recognize that you have expense, your expenses have increased in value, and you also recognize that your loan or the amount of money that you owe other other parties has also increased in value. Creating a liability means liabilities are increasing. Okay, so this is the entry that's uh, that's generated once you enter an invoice.